Hello ADS. Welcome back to my channel. Fungal Infection Betta fish fungal infection, also known as cotton wool disease, affects betta fish. It is caused by a fungus called saprolegnia, which grows in poor water conditions and low oxygen levels. The fungus appears as a white or grayish patch on the betta fish's skin, fins, and gills, which can spread quickly if left untreated. Fungal infections in betta fish can be caused by several factors, including poor water quality, injury, stress, and weakened immunity. Poor water quality creates a favorable environment for fungus growth. Fungal infections can also occur due to injuries or wounds that allow the fungus to enter the betta fish's body. Fish being nipped by other fish or sharp objects can also lead to fungal infections. High stress levels and weakened immunity caused by poor diet and other health conditions can increase betta fish exposure to fungal infections. Fungal infection symptoms include white, cotton-like patches on the fish's body or fins, frayed fins, and lethargic behavior. You may see the betta rub itself against aquarium objects. If left untreated, the infection can spread and cause more severe symptoms such as lack of appetite and difficulty swimming. The treatment of fungal infections in betta fish depends on the severity of the condition. Fungal infections can be treated by improving water quality and pet store medications. For example, antifungal medications containing methylene blue or malachite green can treat fungal infections. In severe cases, it is advisable to isolate the infected fish in a separate tank and treat them with antibiotics. In the comments section, I have pinned my medicine recommendation for treating fungal infections. You can check it out. During treatment, it is essential to maintain excellent water quality and remove any uneaten food and debris from the tank to prevent further fungal growth. Preventing fungal infections in betta fish involves maintaining good water quality and minimizing stress levels. Regular water changes, filtration systems, and removing uneaten food and debris from the tank can prevent fungal infections. As far as we know, herbal remedies do not work for fungal infections. A fish that has caught the disease will need stronger medication for a better chance of survival. You can realize that all major betta fish diseases are primarily caused by bacterial, fungal, or parasites. Understanding the differences between these types of infection can help you prevent them. Low-quality water transmits most of these infections to bettas, which cause various diseases. They can all be prevented by maintaining a healthy tank environment. This includes regularly cleaning the tank, water changes, and monitoring water quality. In addition, avoiding overcrowding and minimizing stress in the tank environment can reduce betta fish diseases. By following these steps, you can keep your betta healthy and happy. The purpose of this channel is to spread awareness about keeping betta fish happy and healthy around the world. Do you know Aqua Diary has a website with numerous fish care blogs and product recommendations? If you enjoy our content, please check it out and support us. Website link is pinned in the comment section. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.